Miscellaneous rules of the road. Listed below are laws that have not yet been covered. It is illegal to drive or bet a wager. Oh, drive on a bet or wager. So that means it's illegal to. I don't know what that means. You can't bet on driving. Drag race. It's illegal to throw garbage or glass onto the roadway or public private land. Throw lighted cigarettes or anything that can cause a fire near a forest or open field. Bypass or cut out a vehicle's muffler system. You must return used motor oil, transmission fluid, and other hazardous materials to the place you bought them. The garage or store that sold it to you is responsible for disposing of it. Pedestrians must remember the following rules. State law requires you to use a crosswalk when one is available. If an intersection has a traffic signal, press the button and wait for the walk signal. Intersections with no push buttons automatically give walk signals. Be patient. Do not cross if the signal does not say walk, if the, if the signal says don't walk. Before you cross the roadway, stop at the curb, look left, look right, then look left again for traffic. This is an interesting one. They might ask for that. What? So, so when, you get to a, when you get to a curb, look left, look right, and then look left again. So when look, you get... So what did you say? Look left. Look left. Look right. Look right. Then look left again before you go. Do this even on one-way street. Be alert when, while crossing. Be especially alert at intersections that allow motor vehicles to turn on red. If you must enter the street from between parked cars, stop and look before crossing. You must use a sidewalk when one is available. When no sidewalks are available, you should walk on the shoulder facing traffic. So when you're walking down the street and there's no sidewalk, you should walk towards the cars. What? If you're walking down the street and there's no sidewalk, you should walk on the side of the road towards the cars. Why? What? Why should you walk facing towards the cars? To know it so you won't fall into the road. No, so you can see if one's yes. driving at you so you can get yeah. out of the way. So it doesn't hit you. If you're walking with the cars, it can yeah. hit into you and never even see them coming. Never walk along or across an expressway, interstate highway, or turnpikes. Wear clothing with bright colors and reflective strips, especially at night. Laws for bicyclists and motor motorists in the presence of bicyclists. Bicyclists have the right of way to use public ways in this state except limitous, limited access in it or express state highways where signs specifically for bicycles have been posted. When riding on public ways, bicycles must obey the same basic traffic laws and regulations that apply to motor vehicles. The, the rules of bicycles, including amendments, are listed here. As a bicyclist, you can keep to the right when passing a motor vehicle. So these are the things that are different about when you're a bike, bicyclist than a car. As a bicyclist, so if you're riding a bike, you can keep to the right when passing motor vehicles in the travel lanes. So you can't do that on a car. You must signal your intent by either hand by either hand to stop or turn. However, the signal does not have to be continuous or be made at all if both hands are needed for your bicycle's safe operation. You can ride a sidewalk you can ride on sidewalks outside of business districts for safety unless banned locally. So it's okay to ride on sidewalks on your bike as long as it's not like taking a place where there's lots of people walking around. If on a sidewalk, you must yield to pedestrians and give an audible signal before overtaking or passing. So that means you have to say, on your left, or whatever, you know, that I'm coming up. No more than two bicycles can be operated side by side. On a roadway with more than one lane in, in the direction of travel, bicyclists riding side by side must stay in one lane and not unnecessarily restrict passing vehicles' ability to overtake them. <clears throat> you must ride on on or astride a permanent seat affixed to a bicycle. A passenger must also ride on a permanent seat attached to a bicycle or to a trailer towed by the bicycle. So that means you can't have two people on a bike if there's not two seats. What? You must ride on, ride on a permanent seat affixed to a bicycle. A passenger must also ride on a permanent seat or in a trailer. So you can't just have two people on a bike it's actually against the law. You can't have two people on a bike. Nope, unless there's two seats. 
You cannot transfer a person who is between one to four years old or who weighs 40 pounds or less, except in a baby seat attached to a bicycle. The person must be in a harness, be seated in an upright position, and their head and feet must be protected from hitting vehicle wheel spokes. A person can ride on or stride a seat on a tandem bicycle if the person can reach the pedals and handlebars. You cannot transport a child under the age of one year old on a bicycle. A bicycle helmet approved by the U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission must be worn by bicyclists operated by passengers under the age of 16. So how old do you have to be to stop wearing a helmet? 16. Yeah. If you're under, so actually you don't have to wear a helmet anymore because you're over 16. You're, you're 16. If you're under 16, you have to wear a helmet. It must be secured to the person's head when the bicycle is operated on public way or bicycle path. Unless the passengers is secured in an endorsed trailer, in an, an enclosed trailer which protects their head, you must give an audible warning or other uh, audible warning when necessary to ensure safe operation. Like on your left, you know, like people say that, like when we're on the bike path, you can park your bicycle on a way, on a way or sidewalk, but it, but it, only if it does not obstruct vehicles or pedestrian traffic. So you can put your bike on a park your bike on a sidewalk, but it can't block people. You cannot let the bicycle be pulled by another vehicle, and can only tow a bicycle trailer. You cannot carry any objects that would interfere with the safe operation of the bicycle, and you must keep one hand on the handlebars at all times. Hmm. So it's against the rule to take your hands off the handlebars. You must have proper working brake system to stop from 15 miles per hour within 30 feet. From half, from a half hour after sunset until a half hour before sunset. So right before dark, so so even before the sun goes down and even after the sun comes up, a half an hour before the sun goes down and half an hour after the sun comes up, you must have a white lamp in front of your vehicle, in front visible from up to 500 feet, and a rear-facing red light or reflector visible from up to 600 feet. So if you want to drive at night, you must have a light on the front of your bike. From a half hour after sunset to a half hour before sunrise, you must have a reflector on each pedal or your ankles or reflective materials on your body or on your bicycle. The reflectors must be seen from 600 feet from all sides. Your handlebars cannot be set at a height above your shoulders while gripping them. You... Uh, and you cannot extend the forks from the original manufacturer's design. You must report any accident involving or personal injury and any accident involving property damage in excess of in excess of one hundred dollars to the police in the municipality where it occurred. That's interesting. As a motorist in the presence of bicycles, uh, so if you're driving a car, do not cut off after passing. When passing a bicycle traveling in the same direction as you on the road that is on the right, you must not return to the right until after you have safely passed or overtaken the bicycle. So that means you can't go like, like in like in front of the car, in front of the bike, and then go and like cut them off. You have to go like around them. Do not make an abrupt turn after passing. While passing a bicycle near an intersection or driveway where you want to turn right, then you cannot turn unless you are a safe distance away from the bicycle. You cannot make the turn, if, and you cannot make the turn at a reasonable and proper speed. Do not squeeze bicycles in a narrow lane. If a lane is too narrow to pass a bicycle at a safe distance, be patient and wait until you have you you can safely use an adjacent lane, or wait until it is safe to pass in the lane you share. Do not fail to yield when turning left. When turning left at an intersection or an alley or private road, you must yield the right of way to a vehicle approaching from the opposite direction. So if you're going down the road and you're going to turn like across the other lane, you have to let the bike go by. You can't just like cut them off, right? Watch for vehicles on your right. Bicycle so you can't cut off a bike? No. No, nope, you can't cut them off. Watch a bicyclist on your right. Bicycles can legally ride on to the right of motor vehicle traffic. So that means they can pass by cars that are parked. The law says it is not, not. The law says it is not a defense for motorists causing an accident with a bicycle that the bicycle was to the right of the other traffic. 
do not open a door without looking first. So you can't open your car door without looking for bikes. Drivers and passengers can now be fined $100 for opening a vehicle door without into oncoming bicycle. Before opening the door, you should always check behind you and make sure that no bicyclist is approaching. Imagine how bad that would be if there was a bike riding along your car and you parked on the side of the road and then you open your door. What would happen to the bicyclist? What? So if you're in your car and you parked on the side of the road and then you open the door to get out and there's a bike coming, what's going to happen to the bike? Crashed up. Crash into what? The car. Crash into your door. So you have to look for bicyclists before you open your door. Bicyclists can now ride two bicycles side by side. However, on a road with more than one lane in the direction of travel, they must stay in one lane. Bicyclists do not always have to signal turns. Bicyclists must obey their intent by either hand must signal their intent by either hand or stop stop or turn. However, the signal does not have to be continuous or be made at all if both hands are needed for the bicycle's safe operation. About 75% of bicycle deaths and disabilities injuries could have been prevented if riders wore a proper bicycle helmet. For a free brochure on bicycle safety, call this number. Woo! We're done with this rules of the road.